Hello dear student, welcome to another video in sociolinguistics. Today we will be talking about standardization. Standardization is a process by which a dialect is made into standard language. According to Hudson, uh, standardization or standard language is the result of a direct and deliberate intervention by society. And this intervention is called standardization. So for a language to be standardized, standard, sorry, it has to pass through the following processes. Okay, so standardization is when we take a language, then we make it standard language. And this, of course, is uh, by the society. So it doesn't occur on its own, but society is very important in making a language a standard language. And any, uh, any language that uh, becomes standard language goes through the following processes. So we have selection, that is a particular variety must be accepted by the society as the one to be developed into a standard language. This requires the variety to be uh, socially and politi politically powerful. So to select a language, is that it, this language should be uh, politically powerful and socially powerful. If this language is uh, politically and socially powerful, and you select, it, you select it, so the society selects it to develop it into a standard language. Uh, the second process is called codification. It is dictionaries and grammar books must be written to fix this language so that everyone agrees what is correct and what is not correct. So to codify language, that is you write dictionaries and grammatical uh, and grammar books, okay, rules, etc. About, about their language so that uh, people who speak a language know what is wrong and what is right. So that for, for the other people who want to learn their language, uh, they have rules to, I mean, to learn acquire to speak that language. So the language should have grammar books and dictionaries. So this is very important. Uh, the third uh, process is elaboration of function. That is, the selected variety can be used in all the functions associated with it, writing and official institution, such as parliament and law court, as well as in education. So elaboration of function means that uh, once you select a language and then you codify it, so you have books and you have grammar, this language should be used in parliament, in law, in education, everywhere. If it should uh, fulfill all the functions that any language or any standard language uh, uh, fulfills or has. So this is very important. So it should play a role uh, or it, it should uh, function everywhere in the society, in the parliament, in law, court, in education, in uh, media, in science, everywhere, every field. Uh, so the last um, process is acceptance. The variety selected has to be accepted by the population as, their, as the variety of the community, of the community, as their official language. So the people should uh, or the population of a country for example should accept this uh, this uh, variety to be the official language of of the people the official language of the community if the community so once language becomes standard after going through the above processes it serves as unifying force of the state so it is a language official language alongside it may be alongside other languages or it could be the only language for example in a country and it serves as the unifying force of the state that is the language the whole population uses in every um, field etc uh, thank you very much for your attention this is it for today and see you catch you in the next uh, video